Hello everyone and welcome back to our blind let's play return to monkey island for the PC My name is Fuzz Burr, this is your Beast Gaming channel and all right Yes, we are back and I'm excited to be here. Hope you guys are excited too It's always good to have more monkey island and the reviews to this game have been very strong so far, which is fantastic I'm sure I would love it regardless, but it, it's great to see this return get so much good uh, publicity in uh, the gaming world and I'm excited to, to hopefully have more people I've never experienced Monkey Island see Return of Monkey Island and then go back and maybe play the other games and say hey I miss these other games what were they like and that's what I really want to see is is uh, this community of point-and-click adventure gaming to grow Let's press on here. They're having a half off sale. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh, this was my favorite novelty store. Oh, this is what this is the store that we got the uh, the web chicken with the pulley in it, wasn't it? Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh, there's that guy in the hook. Can't talk to the birds. Let's hit tab. Uh, by the way, I don't know if any of you guys noticed, but the uh, thumbnail for part one of this game was it, it may be a weird thumbnail like why would I use something that's press release or something that's more well seen uh, the reason I use that picture is because in the first secret of Monkey Island game that we played or I should say first Monkey Island game the secret of Monkey Island that was the thumbnail I used in that game with him talking to three pirate leaders so I thought it was a good callback and it's a good way to honor the past what kind of person would just paint on a wall like that you know, the graffiti all looks different. Elaine would never have stood for this when she was governor. This place has kind of gone downhill. Oh, yeah, that clock has been broken for decades now. <laughs> uh, that clock is not set. Even a stop clock is right twice today. That clock is not set to my current time, by the way. Uh, I believe it was, what, the third game? Or the fourth game that had a clock that was actually set to your game clock? That was kind of cool. Wally! Hey, Wally. Let's go say hi to our friend here. Hey, Wally. Well, well, well. Look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again, too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. <laughs> I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. Only half of that was because <laughs> yeah. of me. Good times, huh? <laughs> I'm past all that and I'm running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, look for a map. You want to have a map to see on Monkey Island? Yeah, have a lot of maps. Oh, it looks like shop across the way is in trouble. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high-stakes, ego-driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. I, I kind of like how there's this new magic that's not voodoo uh, that they're introducing. I think that's a cool, clever twist that has potential well, i'm looking for a mop this is maps and more not mops and more well, i was hoping the and more might include mops well, ah. it try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his all right yeah, that's not a bad idea actually you wouldn't happen to have a map to the secret of monkey island funny you should ask i recently made one on commission but then they destroyed all my source material it is the only one in existence Best of luck to you. Ah, great. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them. <laughs> <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. <laughs> uh, it's good to see you landed on your feet. You landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. <laughs> How'd you get back to cartographing? That's not a real word. Uh-huh. It is now. I mean, if Shakespeare can make up like hundreds of words, why can't Guybrush Sweetwood, Mighty Pirate? Wally's cartography stuff. Ooh, 
Those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. Uh, old lamp. A globe and a map store? I didn't know you made globes, too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. Old map? I appreciate that Wally hasn't traded it in for a new model just because it's been around the block once or twice. I feel very strongly about that for some reason. Oh, a monocle. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. We're gonna sink it just like we did in the past. Ooh, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. I guess not like the past then. <laughs> he came prepared for us this time. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. Ooh, looks chilly up there. Wonder if there's any flightless birds. It's a long, small map of somewhere far, far away. What's this a map of? The secret movements and activities of my competitors. That sounds reasonable. <laughs> I like that one. That's great. This island looks like a pair of trousers. This must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. <laughs> It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? This map is taller than I am. I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. It's maps wrapped in maps. I didn't know you could do that. Ah, oh, yeah. It's cool. Innovative map bundle. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says rating cursed black diamond. Spiky map. Low cost beyond map. The first rule of piracy is never buy a used treasure map. <laughs> Slightly suspicious ladder to a window? Hey, Wally. What's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. Can't do anything with it. Box. Hey, Wally. What's in these boxes? Maps. Maps, maps, maps. Man, Dora would love Wally. Ooh, this one looks nice. How much is it? Oh, that one? Too much. Yikes. Good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. It looks expensive. And shiny. I like shiny. Yeah. I like shiny too. Ah, I can't get it though. Pattern map. Huh, never seen one of those before. Small map. Somewhat understated and somewhat overpriced. Map full of monsters. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. <laughs> Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. But we did get a uh, monocle. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. It makes things look bigger. All right, so we have a way to make things bigger. The voodoo lady said it was a forgiveness frog. This has gotten me out of a lot of scrapes over the years. The pen is mightier than the sword. Just double checking to see. I, I don't. I don't necessarily see a um. A combination. Like command. Ah, there we go. Ooh. Ah, uh, can I back out? Cause. To whom it may concern. To whom it may concern. Uh, sorry for blowing you up that sorry one time. Sorry for blowing you up that one time. Uh, with fear and respect, Guybrush. With fear and respect, Guybrush. Because I'm thinking I have to use that fog on LeChuck. So I basically made that for LeChuck. It's a forgiveness frog. But I juiced it up with a written apology. So when you combine things in this game, you can't just randomly combine stuff. You have to be able to combine it, which is fine. It makes things a lot easier. It's less, you know, click, 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 like in the past. Uh, join LeChuck's crew. Saw Palm Corp Mag arrested me and won't hire me. I need a disguise and I need a map. Uh, seize LeChuck's ship at the earliest opportunity. 
and relive the glory days. Alright, let's go to High Street. Meanwhile, on LeChuck's ship. I miss the old narrator. LeChuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done! Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? <laughs> he must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Hey. Have him killed. It's funny how he said that. Let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for LeChuck? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. Seems to be more zombie LeChuck. Then uh, Ghost Pirate LeChuck here. Old woman. Some. A note. General store. Wikipedia. Oh, it's the alleyway. Remember that. What if they saw that uh, circus poster up there? Locksmith. I don't think that must be new. Hey, the jail's still here. And the church is still here as well. Well, okay, maybe not the church is here. I mean, it's kind of boarded up and everything. Let's talk to the old woman first. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's not talk to the old woman. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Ah, uh, this was the uh, the shop we bought the uh, the sword. Yeah, the old general store. The note says, forced to close. Thank Looks like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. I wonder if I had to write these down and if they're important later. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memory. Okay, so the general note and the, uh, the doors say the same thing. Ah, the old alleyway. Man, this brings back memories. Oh, my shine top harassed is here. Okay, uh, which these people are not swallowed by a giant manatee? Uh... The marquee. Woohoo! Still don't know this one. What is the name of the bookish pirate in Herman's favorite book? Uh. Well, I say it's one of these two. But I don't know. Yeah, not sure, and I don't want to lose a card. I'm two for three, by the way, so far. Well, two for four, if you count the fact that I'm not really sure the last one. Here's that door. It seems to be stuck closed. It seems to be stuck closed. Ah, darn it. By the way, I know I said this in the last episode, but I really like the movement in this game. Uh, it's just so fluid, and everything looks so beautiful. It's like, it's like art coming to life. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine. And she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, uh, the windows need some work. Yeah, she also showed you that uh, you don't need to risk yourself for her because she's very capable. <laughs> I think it's a chandelier. Looks sort of like an eye. Welcome to my shop. Hi. New character here. Elegant book. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. Okay, can we touch it? At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. I guess not. Oh, that's a shame. Is this a treasure map? I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. 
I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. I have family in Florida too. What's that lock? That's for hats. And please don't touch the glass. Uh, keys? What's that key? That's for a lockable quiver. A lockable quiver? Ah! Oh, it's a parrot. How you doing, my guy? Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. I wonder if this is a... Uh... Nah, it's not. I can see a picture of the family here. It would have been cool if this was Meat Hook's parrot. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, at least make a good one. <laughs> are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. But I want to feed the parrot. Oh, I'd really like some crackers. Hands off. Those are my last crackers. I really want to oh, feed I'd the really crackers. Like crackers. Hands off. Those are my last crackers. One more try. Oh, I'd really like some crackers. Hands off. Ah. Those are my last crackers. I mean, sometimes these games you just gotta keep trying over and over and over again. Is that from a famous locksmith band or something? My mother's band, the Golden Keys. They were named after some actual Golden Keys that she spent a bunch of time looking for. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. Okay, uh, let's see. What's that? What is that? It's definitely not a key or a lock. It's a fishing lure, of course. Ah, that's what oh, I thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was a fish lure. Oh, we can buy it. How much for the fishing lure? It's not for sale. This is a locksmith shop. Perhaps you saw the sign outside? Then why do you have it on display? How much for the fishing lure? It's not for sale. Then why do you have it on display if it's not for sale? I mean, come on. Oh, we got some bellows here. Um, ask to try. Can I try out your key grinder? <laughs> no. I wouldn't want you to lose any fingers. Well, we lost a hand once and we got it back, so. Come on. Can I please try your key grinder? Seriously, I don't much care if you grind off a finger. But I don't want to have to clean up afterwards. <laughs> Come on. Can I please try your key grinder? Seriously, I don't much care. Alright, so that's the same. Got any trivia card? Let's check it out. Which one is it? What animals featured on Bella Fisher? I mean, I would guess a fish, but I don't know what Bella Fisher is. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. Um... Is this some Doctor Who-like magic and mystery here? These are nice. Thanks. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, <laughs> right? nope. And before you ask, yes, they did. Yes, it was. And they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. I can understand that. <laughs> oh, that's great. That reminds me of a story of a mom who named her uh, two sons. One son, doctor, and the other son, lawyer. And the doctor ended up becoming a lawyer, and the lawyer ended up becoming a doctor. Just out of a uh, rebellion. I don't know if it's a true story or not, now that I think of it. I've never actually confirmed that, but I have heard that story before, and I just think it's funny. And I really want it to be true, because it's funny. Ah, uh, it's really clean in here. Do you have a mop? It's really clean in here. Do you have a mop I could use? I simply don't allow filth to accumulate in the first place. Try somewhere a little less sanitary, like the bar by the docks. Ah, uh, you're not the first one to tell me that. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary, just information. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail safe in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Okay, so if we had a safe that we needed to unlock, then we need to get the, the serial number and then tell it to her. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. Fair enough. 
Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Ah. Only a pro would have a tool like that. We got a monocle. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. Now I just need to find um, a uh, safe that we need to unlock. Uh, tell me again about how to have keys made. It's exciting. You bring me the serial number from the lock. I make the key. It's pretty straightforward. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years ago. <laughs> Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. <laughs> I love the name and I love the fact that, yeah, there are things that don't fit together here. How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. But she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. Would she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Uh-huh. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. Huh? That seems enormously useful. Maybe. Depends on if you can close them again. Fair enough. Tell me again about how to have keys made. It's exciting. You bring me the series. It's right. pretty straightforward. Heard that before. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system. And I don't like it disrupted. Okay, so we know what to do here. Yeah, we know what to do here, but we can't do anything just yet. I wonder if Otis is in here. Oh, it's Otis! Guybrush Threepwood? Oh my god, he is in jail. And Stan. and Stan! Otis, old pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Yeah. Not at all. I was in the other side. <laughs> That's sure. right, it was. Different somehow. Uh, new art style. <laughs> How nice of you to notice. I like the art style. It's very, very cool. Um. Uh. Would you like. Uh, oh. There's nothing in here that says, would you like a flower? I'm, I'm disappointed. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. And I love you stranded. I don't ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Yeah, I'm sort of planning on hijacking an existing crew instead of recruiting one. But maybe I can spring you anyway. For old time's sake. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors. Imagine that. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Uh -huh. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. Fair enough. I noticed you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. <laughs> In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I, I told you I like flowers. Them from the governor's garden instead. Huh? Picking flowers from the governor's garden sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Guybrush, you gotta get me out of here. It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. Number three priority. That's great. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Is that all it says? It says jail rules. One, no escaping. <laughs> Hey, yeah, look, the lock. That's the lock that we, uh... Watch your boots in here, son. It's like a swamp without the clean parts. That's the lock that we, uh, melted with the, uh, the grog. Stan! The used ship salesman, used coffin salesman, used life insurance salesman, used timeshare salesman. I mean, goodness gracious. Wonder what you're doing now. Why are you in jail? Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. 
Uh, I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Uh... What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. What did and you do? you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff. <laughs> People! People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. You also care about money. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Okay, don't worry about it. I've already got a plan to steal a ship from LeChuck. Well, if you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. Naturally. What exactly did you allegedly do for people? Yes, I want to know. What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now, naturally, people don't always know that they want the things they want. Sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam and misrepresentation and even fraud. But it's all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. Well, you know, you did try to get me hanged, amongst other things, uh, and had me put in jail. Uh, you remember that, Stan? You also remember how you were selling paraphernalia uh, for the trial? Didn't you used to have a law practice or exactly. something? Exactly. Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. Turpitude? Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whatever you want <laughs> because it doesn't mean anything specific. <laughs> Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. Okay, so he doesn't want to be rescued, but he does. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son, but thanks. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. Grog? In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. I didn't know you had an office somewhere. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. That's advice. That sounds like fun. See you later. Yep. Talk to Otis again first. Guy brush, you gotta get me out of here. I'll make it my number three priority. All right, let's see. Monocle. I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Hey, I didn't have to write it down. That's a that's a change. Most of this serial number has been rubbed off. Okay, we got this serial number. What was that? You Looks like a health like hazard. Having a good time. That's nice. I don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. <laughs> Look at the hangman. One, two, three, four. May just say dead. Or hung. Hi there. Hi. Hello again. Tell me again about how to have keys made. It's exciting. You bring me the serial number from the lock. I make the key. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, how do I give her Let's the... Let's go round a bit. 
Try not to touch anything. Serial number. There we go. This is the number for the jail cell lock. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, yeah, absolutely no idea. Hey, we just didn't even charge us for anything. How about that? Hey, no. This is a lot easier than uh, melting the lock off and moving mug to mug to mug they to mug. They say the only real prison is the one in your head. But take it from me, that's a load of barnacles. Ah, uh, I don't want to be in your head. Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. Word of advice, kid. Stick to the narrow straits. Did you see the uh, achievement that popped up, by the way? It showed a jail cell open with a flower behind it. I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. Now I'd be thinking that there would be something in jail, this cell. I'll stay on this side of the bars. Just in case. Like, why would I free him just to free him? You know what I mean? Hey, it's yellow flowers. Or the yellow... Wait, what? Take the way back into the island's interior. I didn't even know there was a rope. What happened to... Um... Uh, what happened here? And why is this thing falling off? Okay. Carla. Guy brush three wood. Um, there we go. Hello, sword master. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. Uh, when was the last time you had bath? Anything but your cooking. When was the last time you had a bath? When was the last time you had a bath? Ha! That was marginally clever. Oh, that's nice to see you again. You too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, um, I, I love how this is still the same. You should never have given up being Swordmaster. Who says I did? Oh, sorry, I just assumed. Governor seems like a full-time job. It is, but there's room for overlap if you're creative about it. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? Oh, I can handle it. She doesn't need me. I got my own project cooking. I'm not automatically involved with everything I like. That's just because I'm married. Elaine said Pokemon is being hampered by Captain Madison. Ah, it seems like it will help her most. Elaine said that program is being hampered by Captain Madison. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You <laughs> I love how we're talking while sword fighting. The mansion has changed a lot. Okay. I mean, don't... This is not true. Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I'm looking for the secret. I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. <laughs> Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Uh, let's talk to her. Oh, I guess we've already talked to her. I like her sword. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. All right, let's see. Am I the official portrait of the governor? Ugh, 
Looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. What is, is that a torch? Like what is going on in that picture? Am I the official portrait of the governor's sword? Edgy. Another trivia card. Um, the burn on Scurvy Isle Beach is a, how am I supposed to know that? I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the sea monkey. Ah, uh, sea monkey. <laughs> it's totally mindless, but it's fun. Why am I entertained by the smallest, simplest things in life? I don't know. I just am. You remember that? Uh, wasn't there like an Easter egg where you had to click something 50 times? It was like the water in Curse of uh, Mike Galland or Escape from Mike Galland. One of those two. But you had to like click the water 50 times in order for something to happen. So if I click this over and over and over, then something's not going to happen. No, something's not going to happen. Oh well, it was fun. <laughs> there's a lot of books here. Oh my god, there's a lot of books here. Endless Tale of the Voyage that would not end. I tried to read that once, but I couldn't finish it. <laughs> oh, you can borrow these. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Ah. Note to the reader. No disguised secrets are revealed in this book. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Well, we know to get to McAllen, we need a uh, cookbook, right? The blurb says it's a solid, if somewhat predictable story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. It's thicker than I would have imagined. Oh, uh, what's the name of the book? Ship to ship combat strategies by stupid Captain Morrison. <laughs> Who do tricks you can do at home? Warning, do not try these tricks at home. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. Uh, uh I'm sorry? I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. Uh, I do have money. I think. Yeah, I have money. I've got a few coins for incidentals. I mean, which one do I need, though? The voodoo tricks? Um, the ingredients by Barbie LaFlay? Uh, the big book of treasure maps? The stupid Captain Morris. I love that. I'm gonna try to borrow the voodoo Can one. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. Yeah. You never even apologized. Uh, I'll pay for it. I don't yeah. need your money. Wow, she's she is not happy about Can I borrow that? A There's only one you other thing we can say here. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Of course you did. You think like a cow. Oh, how poopy, because you fight like a dairy farmer? Okay, I got that backwards. Oh, look at this stuffed animal. I like your stuffed, I uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. Got a dog. It's a lot of work being governor. Okay. I may want around the house. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. I better stay out here. <laughs> stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. Newer portrait. I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. Hold a portrait. Elaine told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second governor of Melee Island. His overly strict morals and overly lax regulatory policies helped make the island what it is today. Hmm. I wonder, can we, um... It's soft and extra fuzzy. I hate to, I hate to even think this, but... Okay, we can't. Let me do a quick uh, cursory look. Of stuff. You know, maybe what I need to do... 
I, I thought this was for LeChuck. Dear Carla. Dear Carla. Um, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I realize that you're tough on toughness. I realize I mind that you're hard on softness. I value that you're dedicated to dedication. I appreciate that you're keen on bluntness. Huh. Dedicated. I value that you are dedicated to dedication. Uh, um, this letter is getting way too intense. Uh, Portobello? As shown by your actions at Portobello, please accept my humblest apology. Even though it wasn't my fault. Um, you scared the heck out of me. <laughs> I've implemented a reminder system for myself. That's true, we have the journal. All right, let's see if this works. This is for you. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog for when words aren't enough. Dear Carla, Ugh, it looks like you tried to ah. include personal details, but then you got them wrong. You don't know me at all. I reject your frog. Ah! Darn it! What did we it's get a wrong? Lot of work being governor. Ah! Uh, what did we get wrong? Uh. Dear Carla. Uh, lose some book. Sorry for losing. Um. I value that you are dedicated. Send a mail. As shown by your action, please accept my humblest apology. I've implemented. I think the uh, town one is probably wrong. Like I think all the other ones are right. It's this just is that one is wrong. Dear Carl, this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. You can do better. I reject your frog. Ah! Darn it! I, I said I had a reminder system. Why did that work? Dear Carla. Uh, sorry for losing book. Sorry for losing. Um. I value the. San Domingo. Please accept. Um, I promise to do better. I promise to do better. Let's try it now. This is for you. Dear Carl, this is a nice sentiment. One thing. You can do better. I reject. Ah! What am I doing wrong? Now we know that the town is right. Or. Dear Carla. Is the town right? Sorry for losing. Like, if I click off on this. I appreciate. As shown by your. Please accept. Scare the heck out of me. <laughs> I should have done that many variables. Ah, darn it. This is for you. Dear, this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even won. I reject. Ah, <sighs> what does it mean I can do better? What does that mean? Dear Carla, sorry for. Um I realize that you are tough on toughness. As shown by your please accept. I've implemented and there's got to be something else that I'm doing wrong here, I think. This is for you. I'm impressed, Guy yes. Rush. Surprisingly thoughtful. Come on, work, 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 work. You, I'm strangely moved to forgive you for losing my book. And I'll treasure this frog as a memento of the time you did something right. Yes, all right. Woohoo! So we can now get a book, although I'm not sure which book to get. Uh, I'm gonna borrow... Uh, which one do I get? 
Uh, is that the problem? I don't know which book to borrow. Um, I really like the Can Buddha I one. This book? Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. The power Thanks. of the frog. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Warning, do not try these tricks at home. All right, so we got food tricks we can do at home. I, I don't know what that's gonna do for me yet. I don't even know if it's the right book that we're supposed to have, but... Oh, hello. This looks familiar. The forest. Oh, look how beautiful the map looks. All right, what do you want to go first? Shipyard? Unfortunately, we don't see other pirates walking around that we can uh, wow. duel. It's worse than I imagined. Wow, this place looks horrible. Even the sign is broken. It says Tan's previously owned vessels. <laughs> so sad. Stan's used to be the best place to buy used ships. What's this note? The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. You know how many ships you would have seized, though? The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? How do I get the toothbrush? The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? I need some sort of, uh, grabbing device? Don't really know of. I don't want to wreck my brand new shiny knife. Yeah, I don't really have... I don't really have something that can get this, uh, board off. See, I thought that was a card. It's a dried up old sea sponge. It's bone dry. I guess Stan hasn't washed a ship in a while. Ah, oh, look at the moon. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. Man, look at that picture right there. But the shading, that's so beautiful. Just gorgeous. Remember happier times. I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. There's a trivia card over here. Moment to thought first appeared in The Secret of Monkey Island. Absolutely. This is game one, game three, game two, and game four. Alright, got one. I mean, that was an easy one, right? This used to be such a bright, cheery place. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. Can I pick it up? Stan used this to clean his ships. That's it's not. sad to see the shipyard like this. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. Okay, so I need to get something to pry out the door here. You can go to the forest next. Another trivia card. How many different geckos can you spot at the monkey head location? What? What? Oh, I used to love these when I was six. Ah, uh, the tiny climbing chip. Museum of Pirate Lore. It's a museum now? I used to love these when I was six. Yeah, until I got trapped in one for two days. I that would be scary. <laughs> that would be really scary. Once upon a time, I won a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. Yep, we sure did. Back when we were a starting pirate. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks. The uh, museum thanks. showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island, at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. Uh, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow, 
Are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? Uh, I guess you could say that. Uh, nice. No, I am the Guybrush Threepwood. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent! Super retro. If you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old-timey pirate stuff. Old-timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something. Doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. <laughs> Johnny's eyepatch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. I, I like how the pirate, what? Almost has like glasses on? Is that what those are? It looks so strange. Looks like it's asleep. Like earphones or earmuffs and the thing you put over your eyes when you're trying to sleep. I don't use them, but I know other. Um, what happened here? I don't suppose you have a mop from a famous pirate swabby on display? I've been trying to get the cook down at the scum bar to donate his, but he won't part with it. So every single person I've talked to have said that uh, I need to get the mop from the cook. Tell me about that newsletter of yours. The Pirate Times. We publish pirate news, pirate stories, pirate poetry, all things piratey, really. Why? Right, so you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. <laughs> this is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touche. Well, have a look around. Please do. Anything else? On? Crossword puzzle. Okay, nothing else. Let's take a look around. Is that me, Hook's Hook? Make a joke about the hook. We used to have a hook once. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat It's Meat Hook! Hooks. Supposedly he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. Yeah, we sailed together. That's a nice coffin. The one with the oar. Yeah, the coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town. But I managed to restore it. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scala. <laughs> hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. Yeah, in uh, Scab Island, you had to get in the coffin and row through the swamp to get to the voodoo lady. From, uh, ask him when. I like how it said the familiar coffin the first time. I don't recognize this. Tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind, autographed by Francis Drake himself. I love how I can just poke things in this game. Like seriously, that, that just makes me happy. I don't know why. It just makes me smile. Pokety poke. What's the significance of the peg leg? That belonged to the infamous Peg Leg Patty. She used to hide a spare cutlass in it, in case of capture. Sadly, that's the reason she's no longer with us. I'd seen better days. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. Oh, that's me. me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What no! did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Oh, man. Maybe I ask again and I'll remember what Lois said. Actually, I think I'd rather not hear about that again. <laughs> Look at the guard. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Geesh. No. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsules. Ah, Captain you can Kate. tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. <laughs> I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. 
You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. Oh, that was great. The spoiler alert flying on the bottom. Love it. I guess that must be pretty valuable. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. That's... I tried it on though, and nothing happened. Yeah, but if I can um get a disguise from it. There's some very tiny writing on it. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. Ah, why are they still too tiny? Is there a way to boost this? Pirate Times. Editor, Conrad Lee. Ready to publish your unrecognized genius. It's good for relieving stress. Warning, do not try these tricks at home. Hmm. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. How do I enhance my goggles? The display case is locked. Yeah, how do I enhance my goggles? What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. It was found in the Melee jail many years ago. After an incident where like 20 pirates That was escaped. actually only one. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting. I was just talking about this. I had this. an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. <laughs> That's a pretty wild story. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are, but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. Not yours, apparently. <laughs> no, I deal in facts. I love how all these things are about us. And even though we're telling him what actually happened, he's not believing us. Is that part of my old map? That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. That's not the way he tells it. You should think about hiring a research assistant. <laughs> oh, I did. Unpaid, of course. Intern. That's an old LeChuck left when he kidnapped Elaine, all in capitalizations. How on earth do you have that note? Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. That was found tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note left by the ghost pirate the Chuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. Wow, man, <laughs> you're really into this. I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. This is absurd. It's like this whole wall is stuff from my personal adventures, but somehow I'm not even mentioned in your story. <laughs> I said the That's same thing! That's what's so great about this museum. Everyone makes their own connections with the exhibits, and it's highly personal and different for everyone. That's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's okay. You don't need to say anything. Just listen to what the exhibits tell you. Fine. <laughs> Hello. Paired food? It's Cracker Mix. Some assembly required. Trivia card. Check out this trivia card. Kaibosh often tries to track people the following. Ah, oh, that's unfair. I'm Murray, the invincible demonic skull. Madre de Dios es el bolo diablo. Ah, <laughs> oh, when he distracts people, he's not using the final jack, although I love this line. Behind you, it's a three-headed monkey. And there was actually a three-headed monkey in the first game. That was the thing that happened. We saw it. You can go check out our original playthrough. Ah. Uh, but for now, I think we may have to call this a day, my friends. We're about two hours in. To the deep dark forest where I'm trying to get lost. Warning. The dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. Oh boy, yeah. Oh, he has a trivia card. Let's pick that up first. All right, well, we'll do one more thing and then we'll uh, stop. 
Below the cliff on Monkey Island is a wall to another game. A rubber tree? Pain. Only pain. Uh, below the cliff. This is tough because there is lava below Monkey Island. But they say below the cliff. There is a rubber tree down there. So it could either be rubber tree or lava. Ah, I got one wrong. Oh. All right, well, on that note, uh, I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. This is our blind let's play of Return to Monkey Island for the PC. I will see you all next time. Until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.